Hello, I'm Aaron, and in this video we will demo a developer experience when using Tanzu Application Platform. As a developer, everything starts with a request for work. In this case, I received a JIRA ticket to create a new REST API. To start off, I need some starter code for the new API. I could search around for some API code to use uh, for my Golang project, uh, but this seems like a perfect opportunity to use Application Accelerator to help get me started faster. If I go to Application Accelerator, we could just use the Go API server that is shown here. We can click on the Accelerator. For those not familiar with the Ex Application Accelerator, it is a tool to help get started on a project. It, it is backed by a Git repository of files, um, and those files can be transformed based on the values that you have that you can see on the screen here. A couple key things about what you see here on these files. As you can see, you see no Docker file and you see the only K8's Kubernetes spec that you see is a workload.yaml and that workload.yaml we'll, we'll use later when we deploy uh, but that's essentially the only Kubernetes spec the developer has has to have in order to deploy their workload and in this case since we used application accelerator this workload file is part of my accelerator template and it's already there for me to use so now that's all all that's left is now we need to generate this uh, code here we can generate this project it's going to download my my files for me to use and I just need to copy that over to my IDE and start coding now that I have my code downloaded from application accelerator I get to do my work and then I'm ready to deploy my code to kubernetes today that involves a lot of manual steps for me I have to create a docker file I have to create an image and push it to my registry I have to deploy K8s, do some best practices, configure service ingress to make it uh, expose that service to my users or myself, and then do a kubectl apply, right? So that's what it takes to get a running app today. With Tanzu Application Platform, we want to simplify that for developers. And essentially, you get your code, you do your code, you do a simple Tanzu command to deploy the workload, and then the supply chain that is part of Tanzu application platform will take over and do a lot of the net the work that needs to be done such as in our case of this demo that we're going to show uh, it's going to build an image it's going to configure kubernetes um, to exp for all the deployments and the services that are needed um, for this to happen now that we have a brief overview of Tanzu application platform let's get back to our demo of building and deploying a Golang API on Kubernetes. I've downloaded the accelerator and I have it in my IDE. Um, this is usually where the developer will code or basically you know, do their work. Uh, but in this case, we're just gonna deploy what was downloaded. Uh, one thing to look at is the workload file, which is really the only spec file or additional file to the code that the developer will need. With our workload file and Tanzu CLI, is gonna be super simple to build a new image and deploy it on top of Kubernetes. Currently we have no pods running, so if you look below, I'm gonna run a simple Tanzu command, which will kick off the whole process using my workload file. Once I do this, we'll confirm the build, and then we should start seeing a, a pod created that has multiple containers. Uh, within this pod, there, uh, the containers you'll see basically doing a bunch of different tasks, such as building, uh, the image and then actually exporting it out and then completing. Now that the build has completed, it's been pushed to a registry, it looks like I have a new deployment up and running. So let's go to Postman and see if we can actually hit our new API. I have a port forward so we're just going to hit this v1 tap dash go uh, record API and it should just give me back what I send it. Let's do it real quick. And there it is. Good to go. Super simple, right? I was able to utilize the full power of containers and Kubernetes, and all I had to do was code and execute a single command. If you'd like to learn more about Tanzu Application Platform, please visit tanzu.vmware.com. Thank you.